Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. How are you nasty fuckers today? And today I'd like to talk about the changing dynamics of my collection. And, you know, I tell you the truth fuckers, I'm thinking about maybe, maybe selling off my two gold pieces. And I'm thinking about just having four steel stunners. And I want to run it by the audience. What do you fuckers think? And so the gold sub, the gold day date, I'd sell those and I'd invest, invest, invest the money. And, uh, but the watches I'd have, I'd have four steel stunners. I would have my Jago La Coltre Reverso Grand Date as my, my Horterology piece my dress watch, just a cool fuck off Jaga La Coutre. It's to, uh, it's the sort of thing you'd wear to impress watch people because it's such a, such a beautiful piece of art. And, uh, I love it. The Jaga La Coutre, it's a, just a, I, I remember laying my eyes on it years ago. I just loved it. Absolutely fucking loved it. And, uh, I gotta tell you fuckers, I gotta tell you fuckers, the other piece I really love is my Rolex Explorer 2. The Polar, that's right, the 16570. And uh, I haven't been wearing it a lot lately because I've had new things come into the collection. But I, I really love the 40mm Polar. I think that is a perfect size piece. It's a good size. It's uh, it's just it's just a good piece to have in the box, and I love it. I've got the solid end links, the no holes case. It's just it's just a cool fucking thing to have. Ultimate travel watch. I've always loved the polar. I've loved the polar. So uh, it fits in with my you know. I just I just have always liked that piece. I've got to have a Rolex in the collection. And then the next piece, of course, is my uh, Omega Speedmaster Man on the Fucking Moon. And uh, I, I've had a few of these, and uh, I think now I'm just going to hold. I'm not going to fucking sell this critter again. I got him. I'll keep him. I think that's the, uh, the best thing to do, is just to hold him and... Uh, just see how it goes. You know, I really do like, I really do love my Speedy. It's just such a cool chronograph. It's a good watch. It's iconic. It's not a lot of money, really. Instantly saleable if necessary. Just love it. Great, great piece to have there. And then the fourth piece, this is a bit of stocking filler. Everyone's got some fucking filler in their collection. Bit of filler is the Breitling Super Ocean 2 Abyss 42. And, uh, yeah, I know, it's an ETA machine, but it's a 1500 meter dive watch. It wasn't a lot of money. Wasn't a lot of money. And it kind of, it fills a hole in the box, fuckers. It's filler. I mean, it's a Breitling. It's a Breitling, fuckers. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's a cool piece to have there. I think it's very, very cool. And uh, I gotta tell you fuckers, that's sort of the dynamics of my collection. So I'm thinking, you know, I've got four steel stunners. Do I need the gold pieces? Would I be better off taking the money out of the pieces? And uh, how would you fuckers, the viewers, feel about that? I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. Tell me what you mangy nasty fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great feed. Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. How are you nasty fuckers today? And today I'd like to talk about the changing dynamics of my collection. And you know, I tell you the truth, fuckers. I'm thinking about maybe, maybe 
selling off my two gold pieces and I'm thinking about just having four steel stunners and I want to run it by the audience what do you fuckers think and we specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.